Hi friends, once again welcome back to our channel. This video I will show you how to hide your uh, Wi-Fi network, any Wi-Fi router, any Wi-Fi network from any other users. So basically uh, others will not be able to see or connect it to your Wi-Fi device but only you will be able to see it. So before starting the video, please do these two homeworks. Okay, uh, what I mean is just note down your router make, just note down. I'll tell you why because uh, it can be a geo Wi-Fi or TP-Link, D-Link, Extreme, Airtel, Extreme Fiber or anything else. Okay, just note down. One more thing is write down or remember your Wi-Fi password before changing things. Okay, if you forget also no issues, we can hard reset but let us avoid it. Okay, so please note down these two things. Let us start and see what can be done. So now friends, uh, let us start the video. I'm into my Android mobile. I'm doing this from mobile. You can do this from your iPhone or any mobile. I'm just accessing the Google. As you can see, it clearly says no internet connection because I have not connected. So what you do is you have two methods connect to mobile data or Wi-Fi. So I will show you how to connect through Wi-Fi because this is the Wi-Fi we are going to hide. So let us start from basic so that you are not lost anywhere. It will not take much time so I go to Wi-Fi and this is the procedure to connect to your Wi-Fi everyone knows this a Wi-Fi network will be there you identify which is your home network so this is my home network WFH 2.4 okay this is the name as you can see here and uh, as you can see I'm going to connect to this and then I give a password here and connect so this is the procedure everyone knows okay so the problem is that WFH 2.4 is visible for everyone even if your next uh, home or uh, any person can see this uh, WFH 2.4 he may not be able to connect but he can try to crack it or he can uh, try to hack it okay so this is the Wi-Fi I have connected now and let us go back to see internet is working yes so Wi-Fi is working and I have connected now our question is how it hide this Wi-Fi network okay because uh, in a normal scenario people will not hide it but let us be more secure so that no one will uh, not even see or they will not even know there is a network like this we are going to hide this let us see how this is this can be done for any uh, router I will show you general router it's not specific for any router you can hide this uh, by this method what you can do is Go to a Google, okay, now I told you to note down your uh, router, which one you are using in the beginning of the video, okay. People usually use uh, TP-Link or D-Link or Airtel Extreme or in Geo Wi-Fi, anything of that kind. For example, suppose I am using TP-Link, what you can do is just give your router name here and then search for uh, router IP address, okay, and uh, password, I will show you. For example, I have selected for TP-Link. And it says 192.168.0.1 or 1.1. You can see here. So the same way, suppose I'm using D-Link, any name, you just search like this. D-Link router IP address, see it has come here, 192.168.0.1. And by default, username and password also, you can search this way. So what do you need? First, you are going to connect to your router. Then only you can hide it, right? So for example, I am using Extel, uh, Airtel Extreme uh, router uh, in my home. So... I, uh, this is the uh, IP address I should know 192.168.1.1 okay and this way you should know IP address and password this is the Airtel Extreme I was talking about may, uh, manufacturer made by uh, Nokia powered by Nokia so here uh, this is the router I am using so in this case as per internet my IP address is what 192.168.1.1 okay now it is clear so first you have to identify this I have made a list here okay for for example uh, I have made a list with all uh, majorly used TP link D link and other things TP link it will be 182 168 and uh, 0 0.1 and some routers takes uh, 1.1 okay so that you can try which one is for d link as you can see this is uh, very commonly used and cheap and best router one of the routers and that address will be 192.168.1.1 or 0.1 okay so now this one is known to you i have made a list i will show you in my case airtel extreme fiber i am using so my address as of uh, now will be 192.168 
वन डॉट वन ओके so this is the list i was talking to you i have added this in my description of the video you can find it out okay now this makes sense to you uh, this is uh, the most commonly used for routers i have given at uh, the list of routers you can see here geo wifi or airtel extreme or tp link okay or d link and you can see the address also here for tp link there is a chance see here it can be any of this according to the model so if 0.1 did not work try 1.1 it is simple okay and one more thing you have to know is username and password i have given that also here so this is the default thing when they manufacture a router it will be coming like this so you don't need to worry about this if someone has changed it then it will be different but by default it will be like this and for example uh, geo you can see here administrator and administrator is the username password and airtel extreme admin admin and for d link username is admin but password is blank that means nothing okay give it blank uh, that uh, that uh, uh, column should be empty now for a tp link again admin admin so this much you know and in this example i am using an and this is the one i am using in my case and airtel extreme fiber in my case the ip address will be as you can see here 192 1.1 and one more thing you have to know is my credentials will be admin and admin okay so this is clear now you go back here so what i know my ip address i know so i am giving my ip address here 192 1.1 and i just click on enter i am doing it from browser you can use any browser chrome mozilla whatever there on your mobile or even you can do this from your pc or laptop also any browser will do internet explorer also will do so in my case the username password as per my table was admin admin you can get it from internet just a browsing so 192 168 1.1 and username password of admin admin okay clear this is because my router is extreme fiber airtel extreme fiber okay things are clear please do not forget these things okay uh, now admin is the password i have given username also password click on login button this is the procedure this is a common procedure according to your router three things changes ip address username password i click on login button here wait for some time okay this is the way you can search for in internet i think i have uh, already shown in my table but i will show you how to search also here it's very easy this is the uh, place only you have to uh, face some hurdles because i don't know my router and stuff please read the router uh, on the box what is written if it is dealing router uh, just do a dealing router default password or dealing router default ip address so for dealing router you can see 192.160.1 and password is blank but username is admin so i have captured it in my table so uh, if you do you wanted to know uh, if you any any issue you are facing please message us please write to us um, drop a message in the youtube we will surely help you out for searching out finding out your ip address and uh, username password for your router okay so in my case i have given these three things remember three things again i am stressing on this because this is the only place people get stuck ip address username password i click on login see i am already into the page now okay just dismiss all these things so since uh, i am using an airtel extreme fiber this is the web page it looks like and here i am going to click under home networking okay now if you are using another router d-link tp-link geo wi-fi it might vary a little bit but not much okay for example suppose you are uh, use, using a tp-link and router your page after entering ip address it will be like this but don't worry there is a wireless and wireless settings this is the place you are going to go so any router there should be a wireless settings okay in my case also under home networks it says wireless settings so basically you are going to change your wireless settings because your router works in wireless mode and i click on wireless settings uh, for d-link uh, if it is d-link what you have to do again uh, log in there and by default setup you can see here wireless settings so for uh, d-link tp-link it is same wireless settings the same way uh, geo wi-fi also should have almost same page or you can just do a wireless settings uh, page for geo wi-fi in internet it will come up so in my case i was using airtel extreme fiber and the wireless setting looks like this and i'm going to click on home networking here 
okay when i click on home networking see it's only test is different text is different and but still here you can see again we are into wireless settings so in other routers directly they were showing wireless settings and in case of airtel extreme home network then under that wireless settings and this is the wireless uh, we were talking about wfh 2.4 okay you see here do you remember this wfh 2.4 this was the wi-fi we have connected from mobile and it was working i have one more wfh 5 usually nowadays uh, one router comes with two configuration you can see here five gigahertz band i'm not going to change this i'm just keeping it like that okay because wfh will not be accessible outside its range is very less 2.4 range is high so people can see it that's why i'm going to hide 2.4 so you see on top of this there is a local interface here wireless 2.4 connection type and right side you have a setting this is the setting for wireless 2.4 and below one is wireless 5 i am not going to change this just click on wireless 2.4 setting so if it is another router directly if you click on wireless it will come 2.4 then 5 okay so in case uh, in this case you can see here wireless 2.4 clear and I am going to change the setting of this. Where you are going to change? You are changing under SSID configuration. This is the place you are going to change. See here, this is the SSID name. Okay. This is the SSID name you are seeing uh, from the wireless uh, Wi-Fi settings. If needed, you can change this name also. If you change the name here and uh, apply it or save it, what happens? Your uh, Wi-Fi name will get changed. Okay, you are not going to change it here, but I'm just showing you. If you wanted to change the name itself before hiding it, you can do it here. SSID name. So if I change the name here instead of uh, WFH 2.4, if you change to something else, that will come here. Okay, this is the SSID name. Basically, you are seeing mapping that to here. Okay, if I change it to a Prigilla Tuck, this it will uh, change it as a Prigilla Tuck. So I'm not going to change uh, SSL uh, SSID name. What we are going to change it is SSID broadcast. So this is the main thing for our video. This is the star of our video, uh, which is uh, SSID broadcast. When you change it by default, as you can see, SSID broadcast will be enabled. That means anyone can uh, view it, uh, view a router from the settings. That's why it is enabled. So that is the reason people are going to discover your wireless network. What we are going to do is here we are going to disable it. So remember you, you know the password of this before disabling. You have written down it. Okay that's why I told you in the beginning. I just click on disable. It's not yet into effect. Uh, so uh, again please friends please note this friends. SSID broadcast into disable. Don't change anything else. If you wanted change SSID name but don't change any other settings until unless you know this only change SSID broadcast to disable and every router page after changing anything there will be a save button save or apply whatever do it save and some routers needs a reboot it will ask for reboot if it is asking for reboot give yes if it is not asking just give the refresh button apply once refresh because otherwise the settings might be ta uh, taking some seconds if you refresh it will be quick so I just disabled SSID and I click on so just click on the refresh as of now and wait for some time it might take some time as you can see here i pressed on a refresh and no internet connection so automatically internet got disconnected i go back here see uh, wfh 2.4 is disconnected but the name is there after some time you see it refreshed automatically wfh 2.4 is gone so we have successfully hidden WFH 2.4 which was my router it was visible for everyone anyone whoever nearby open settings it was visible where it is gone so it is just gone here gone for uh, hidden so now no one can connect but I wanted to connect or I wanted to connect my mobile and other devices so no one else can see it but how can I connect it I will just show you now it is very simple how to connect it is uh, not so complex just scroll down here bottom at the end you can select manually add a network so that means the network is already there your uh, ssid or uh, router is already there wfh 2.4 is already there but only thing is that 
it is not visible so you have to say manually that connect to wfh 244 and uh, remember uh, the security uh, settings this you should uh, know uh, it's not uh, complex for everything you can select wpa wpa2 psk option otherwise if some uh, in some mobiles select wpa2 uh, don't select enterprise network personal network in ipad you can see like that in ipad i have seen when you connect it says personal network wpa2 personal network okay remember this and after that give your router password i had already told you to uh, note down the right router password because if you forget here again it's a problem you can't connect to the router also so i have given three things wfh 2.4 and P, uh, wpa2 psk and my password and click on connect button so as soon as uh, you click on connect sometimes it might ask you to do again see in my case it got just got refreshed uh, because maybe the router is getting ready and stuff just repeat the process if you lose it again uh, wpa to psk again you select once more and give the password remember in ipad it will be wpa to personal network do not select enterprise network okay so that depends on the uh, device and now some devices automatically it takes it you don't need to even give you need to give only ssid and password but mandatory is you have to give wfh 2.4 whatever your ssid and password that is very mandatory okay i am giving it again it was uh, not taken in the beginning so this is three things okay remember friends and please click on the connect button i hope this time it will connect uh, wait for some time uh, maybe some seconds and then it shows the progress of connecting i click on connect here you can see here connect has gone uh, yeah see here scroll up it has connected so quickly now uh, you have to connect uh, you have connected to uh, your uh, ssid your router but others in the settings they will never see wfh 2.4 no one knows there is a network like this i come back to google to just to make sure my internet is working yeah it is working so it is very clear easy uh, it's not so tough okay anyone can hide it now one more process you have to do you have to connect all your devices for example your home might have a laptop ipad or whatever iphone you have to connect everything uh, again because otherwise uh, i'll just show you what happened to my laptop here okay i'm just taking a video don't mind please sorry uh, so here in my uh, wireless as you can see i had connected to my wfh 2.4 and it got disconnected there is no lap uh, wfh 2.4 now i go back and at the end uh, you can click on the hidden network and click on connect automatically and give the ssid names here you are going to give again your wfh name wfh 2.4 because uh, the, the the thing is that it is hidden from any device okay i just give the name uh, and i uh, click on uh, security key here again password you are entering sorry i had given the name mistakenly 2.4 in the beginning i changed 2.5 uh, 2.4 again so i click on uh, enter the password and click on you can see here connecting to hidden network the first one okay now it has gone to the first see here it is connected hidden network is connected so it will show the like this it will not show the name maybe but that's okay for you uh, your laptop is also connected successfully so this way you can connect all the other devices also even your ipad or any other device and others will not be able to see your wi-fi thank you so much for watching please give us a like if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel please be our valid member thank you so much see you with another video